Hello and uh, good morning and a warm welcome to you. My name is Neil. I'm the proprietor here at Bath Cars and you're looking at uh, today's car which is a little Citroen Zara. This is the five-door estate car with a two-litre HDI uh, turbo diesel engine in it which is a little belter of a motor to be fair and I think you'll probably find that this is one of the most economical cars to run around in if you want a little bit of space. This uh, 2 liter HDI is the 90 bhp version and it should give around 50 mpg on a combined cycle, slightly more if you're on a run. It's uh, very presentable, it's got uh, nice wheel trims and uh, rear wash wiper, high level brake light, beasting aerial and uh, is nice and clean and tidy and virtually uh, dent free. It's got a couple of little marks up each side but uh, nothing really to write home about. Um, it's an ex-lease car, it's got a good history, all the books are present, it's got remote central locking, air conditioning which works, should be absolutely perfect for the summer, especially if, if uh, you've got dogs or children, it's white, it'll help reflect the sun, and uh, as you can see it's uh, in nice clean order. There's uh, a grill missing off the front, but uh, that looks like it'll just clip in, probably be five or ten quid, something like that. Let's have a quick wander around, I'll tell you about uh, things you might need to know. There's a few little marks to the door here, but nothing special. The wheel trims are in good order, as I said. That tyre there is about 50% uh, worn. The front leading edge of the bonnet has got uh, hardly any stone chips, really, to be fair. This is a Dunlop, and again, this one's about 60% uh, about worn, a bit more worn, that one. Let's go around to this one here, at the back. This is a really nice new Dunlop Sport tyre. As I say, it's got the rear wiper. And last but not least, this one here, which is a good year, and that's about 50% more. Let's uh, open the boot lid up. It's got electronic boot release. The spares under the back. It's got the baggage cover, so you can cover up your uh, goods and things. There's a couple of little cubby holes. Unfortunately, somebody spilled a bit of uh, yellow. No, I can't even say it's paint. It's more like dye, I think, but we've given it a little bit of black uh, colour just to take the eye off of it. It's got three head restraints in the back, and the seat, seats are 60-40 split folding. Obviously it's the diesel car, the locking petrol cap, or locking diesel cap. In the back here, the door cards are in good order. And uh, it's got three proper belts in the back. Let's just uh, pop the seat down, comes down easy. And the bottoms fold up very simply as well, like so. Kind of nice clean as well, it's a sharp looking car. And as I say, it's got the three belts in the back here three head restraints and the headlining is in really nice order. It's got the side airbags, it's also got, uh, well it's got four airbags in total, two up front and two in, in the uh, seats. Let's just cut to the history now, so we're going on to show you that. Okay, and uh, here we have the documentation for this uh, little Citroen. Firstly there is all the books, as I said, there's the owner's manual, the radio manual, etc, and a nice little wallet. The car is just one owner from SG Motor Finance, which has actually been taken over by Lloyd's Auto Lease. And uh, it's a Zara LX HDI car, and uh, white with 144 grams per kilometre is its CO emission, so I think that's about £135 per year road fund licence. To go with that is the MOT, May the 16th, 2007. So a nice long MOT there with the car. Uh, the service history book, well, it unfortunately has just one stamp in it. We're trying to locate the rest of the history, but the last stamp at 27,561. Spans have been serviced since then, and uh, the cam belt is due at 96,000 on those, so there's a bit to go yet before the cam belt's due. Um, a few little um, chitties here and there, but there is also a great big pack of the uh, visa bills that the chap has or the lady has accumulated with the mileages on, which was in the car and uh, that can verify the mileage for you. Uh, there's also a Vodafone slip there where it had a car kit in it and um, that's the previous owner so we may even be able to contact them regarding the history and the spare key because it's only one key with the car. But uh, apart from that the car is a nice little car, it drives well and uh, it's an HDI and it's one of the cheapest ones about in the country. Back to the car then. Okay, welcome back. So then, all the uh, books are here, so there's a nice wallet full of uh, owner's manuals and uh, radio instructions. Height adjustable driver's seat, seat's very good order there, there are a couple of cigarette burns in the seats here. But the car doesn't smell of cigarettes, it's, uh, it's uh, nice and uh, sharp in its smell. Not like new, but it doesn't smell bad. The uh, car's done 89,000. 
nine, uh, 265 miles. There's the key, it's got remote locking, as I said, and it's got the fingertip control hi-fi system, so you can adjust the, uh, the stereo without having to take your eyes off the road, which is always uh, a good thing. So there's all the lights on the dash all gone out, ABS, airbags. Now that's the aircon just clicking in. So if aircon's important to you, this one does work. Blows nice and cold. It's got the radio cassette player and uh, five-speed manual gearbox. The steering wheel's not showing too much wear and the pedal rubbers are also in good order. It's got electric mirror for the left-hand side. Now the clutch feels lovely. The clutch is spot on. And the car revs up and the turbo sounds ideal. Unfortunately, it's missing a head restraint on the passenger side. Uh, but uh, I think you can use one of the uh, rear ones in there. Or just pick one up from a breakers. Found to be about. But uh, all in all, it's a nice car to knock about in. It drives well. The aircon works. And uh, it looks clean and tidy. Bearing in mind, it is a 2003 car. It's not going to be an expensive investment at all. Well, I'll leave you with that shot. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you're interested in this car, do give me a call. Many thanks. Bye-bye.